guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sony. What's good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just want. Anyways, uh, so if you did watch my last video, I did talk about how I was gonna have a story time um, about my transition here from Nigeria to Canada. So if you're new to my channel, you better get comfortable, go get your wine, sit and relax and pay attention to me. So just to recap, uh, I came here to for my medication. Uh, so okay, I'm just gonna start from the beginning, beginning, beginning. Stop talking! So when I came here, I, I transferred from um, Babcock, right? From my second year, I actually finished second year, I was going to my third year, and then my mom was like, you know, okay, let's go, like it's time, I'm like, okay, fine. So um, I started the process, oh my God, it was so stressful, long, and I missed my, um, my first semester. So I was supposed to start um, the fall of 2018, that was September, but I had to defer my admission to um, January, right? And before then, they, like, I, I felt like probably there was like a misunderstanding between my school and myself. Like, I don't even know what they were doing at that point, but I found out that, you know, they're putting me in 100 level. Excuse me? Recap. <laughs> No! Um, two weeks later, I got an email from her that I was granted admission uh, into like the advanced entry, so I was going to be in my third year, which was very accurate. Uh, the weather is one of the one number one things that you need to actually get used to, or else you cannot even go outside. How do you want to do it? Actually getting used to the weather every time I step out of the house. Like literally in my room when I'm preparing to go to school, I have to, I would, for every morning I wake up, I check the degree. I'm like, okay, how's the weather today? And I prepare for whatever I see because once you just, you would think it's not bad. The sun will be shining. Everything will be looking all bright and beautiful and clear. But once you open your door. Fast forward to, you know, the point where this was like winter, like December, December, January. December, January. We had to shovel snow from our driveway. And the area I stay, it's a very, it's like, a, it's a residential area as well. Families of children, a school is nearby. And we, if anyone falls on your um, sidewalk or your curb or your driveway, they, they can see you. I mean, you have to, you have to pay them, and it's fully your responsibility because you're the you didn't shovel your driveway. So I know it's just one of those. But most importantly, what I want to talk about is the educational system here. I know a bunch of my friends who are already watching this. They're they they're already they kind of already know what I went through because I used to call them and be like, "Yo, guys." <laughs> That's the thing, my friends are like, oh my god, you'll be fine. I'm like, well, it's easier said than done. Like, I, I did make a couple of friends in class, and they did put me through on some things. But most, most of the shit I had to do, I had to learn on my own. And that's why the school will tell you, oh, we have resources, we have libraries, we have people that would assist you. Uh, things that I had to do, I had to figure stuff out by myself. I had to talk to a lot of people. Oh, normally, like I, I wouldn't even talk to anyone. I would just stay on my own. But I had, to, I was like, okay, girl. So I did get like a lot of resources, and I started learning things on my own. And what I told my friends, I told them, yo, I don't know what you're, you're learning back home. You guys were here. It is a different ball game. I thought I knew how to write. I was learning everything from scratch. Well, I feel like I need to I need to actually talk about this a lot because people come here with the perception that things are easy. One thing I found out is very easy to pass here. It's easy to get good grades here. You just need to put in the work. The professors here are the in fact the teachers here are nice. Not like those ones back home. Well, I don't like to feel good. I like to feel evil. You 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 would never actually get to that comfort level here it's it's really different sometimes most of the time they want you to call them by their first names they want you to always talk to them in class they want you to always interact with them 
it's like even if you don't want to within yourself you need to because sometimes having that um that teacher that professor close to you can help boost your grades and one thing i figured out is they actually want you to read and understand what you're reading now it is a fast let's be honest but to them they're, they're actually doing you a favor and normally back home we would write papers and um write essays and you, they know that you're getting it from google sometimes they just want you to like maybe put like the website down there where you got it from but here it's like you have to put the author's name the year the website the article the volume <laughs> if it was edited but i just realized well i'm paying a lot of money so i might as well just do the work right so in summary what i'm saying is the education system here is really really different i had to find my way by myself and well good to you now we're okay well we're doing okay you know we're almost there we're almost graduating so it's okay so the lifestyle here hmm honestly it's pretty interesting getting my first job was super fun i was excited like i was anxious too but i was also excited because i was like oh my god look at me i'm becoming an adult free yeah, my mom she was still around during that period and she was kind of hinting at me like okay so i'm just taking care of your, your school fees like now you're working you're on your own and i'm like this woman don't do that when your parents find out that you are you are working in fact when you tell them oh i have a job and this job is paying you that's it oh. but getting my first job though it was super fun the minimum wage here is 14 dollars right and it's not bad compared to um other provinces in canada in ontario it's actually pretty good not bad i'm kind of complain but sometimes like these people they promised you hours and tell you oh yeah you'd be working like 20 hours a week 30 hours a week you'd be excited okay like i'm gonna get money like because they pay us bi-weekly you would be calculating your <laughs> you calculating your pay stub and the money they're gonna give you and then when you see it you're like show me the money but yeah apart from that though i can say that they kind of prepare you for life they help you to communicate with people better and also when you're working and you're also schooling that's that that's like it's another stress entirely trust me but you kind of get used to it because if you're not you have to have a job right you have to work you have to pay your bills ain't nobody gonna pay your bills for you <laughs> they out. Mm -hmm. so you need to help your parents out at the end of the day they're paying your tuition tuition here is for international students it's a lot of money obviously you don't want your parents taking care of your rent and your groceries and all these little bills that you can pay yourself right so you do have to make those um sacrifices all together though the lifestyle here is nice the people are nice well some of them i did have like a few altercations here and there with some people or well, most especially one chick one girl this is going to be a story time i'm not going to talk about it now well, anyways guys so that's like a brief summary of you know my life here and everything that's happened um along the way i'm going to still talk about them i'm still going to expand on the experiences better when um i'm talking about something that kind of goes with the context but i'm sure this video is already too long and ugh, i really don't like long videos because me personally i do lose interest when my videos are too long or when other people's videos are too long so um i'm just gonna cut it short here but i hope that you kind of i know this was not kind of very very in-depth or maybe it was who knows but um in summary the lifestyle here is it's different but basically just need to come here with that mindset that okay you are gonna be an adult now so we've come to the end of my very very long story time I hope you guys did enjoy it, but thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day.